So you're probably asking if they turned out. No, they didn't. But I ate them. They were crumbly. So I had to sit up there and, and grill the mess out of them. And so I ate them. But that's okay. Because you know what? We're going to do it again. This time we're going to put an added binder. Which I thought the egg would be a binder. Or the flaxseed. But, and because it's so, it's so, um, it's so milky and soft and gooey and has a lot of liquid in it. I, what I did was I got some bread, like this, living, li, living, one bread, one slice bread, and then I crumbled it in this, which helps a lot. And what I'm going to do is just use... Oh, I'd say about a couple tablespoons with what I have left. Well, maybe not even a couple, maybe one. You only need a little bit. So, we're going to put some bread in there. And see how that's soaked up right away? Go figure. Why even try to reinvent the wheel, right? <laughs> that's what I try to do, reinvent the wheel. But it didn't work. But the but the chia seed did work. Because that's as, um, if you can't eat eggs, you could use chia seed. Okay. So here you have it. I have to make sure I tell someone that. I Facebooked them and said they said that they were allergic, allergic to eggs. And I keep forgetting that chia uh, seed is uh, alternative for eggs. Which is really cool. All you have to do is put a little bit in a little bit of water. Uh, like a tablespoon with two tablespoons of water, let it sit, mix it up, let it sit, mix it up. I think it takes about 10 minutes. And there you have, you have some ooey gooey eggs, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> and, it, it, and it's healthy. It helps you lower your cholesterol. Did you know that, Chia see? Yep, it does. So, anyways, so here you have it. And then I have my hot skillet, so I'm going to go ahead and add some of my extra virgin olive oil. Oh, I shouldn't have used extra virgin olive oil straight. I'm going to have to put some, um, uh, let's put a little bit of, then I'm going to drain some, some canola oil. Then I'm going to drain some of that. Let's go ahead and put it in a, another skillet because I don't want too much grease. Okay. And go ahead and wipe down the sides of the skillet with the wet towel so you don't start a fire. Okay. Alrighty. So now, what I'm going to do is take some of this. And this should work. Go ahead and squeeze out that extra. And it should bind really well. And if it doesn't bind, add some more of the of the um, your homemade panko, which isn't really panko, it's breadcrumbs. Okay. Pat that down gently. Careful you don't burn your fingers. And it's healthy. Make sure you know where your, your source is coming from. Your, your salmon in a can. Kind of like survival food. And it's great for when you're um, RVing. When you're RVing, 
and we're camping out. This is great. Put this hand out here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of that in there because I guess I needed more. That's okay. I don't like too much grease, but. Or maybe it's just the fumes from the salmon burgers. Salmon, salmon, not salmon, 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 salmon burgers. Okay. All right, let's pick that heat up a little bit more. All righty. Come on.